What do you do when a member of a cult says these words, I'm a Christian too? Welcome to People of the Free Gift, where we ground believers in their identity in Christ and equip them to reach those caught in religion. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as we release content related to the cults and how to reach them with the gospel of Jesus Christ several times a week. So let's get into the scenario. We've all had this experience, or if you haven't, you will. If you're a Christian and you run into somebody, it might be a stranger, might be a knock on your door, and they, you're having a conversation with them and you say, I'm a Christian, and they say these words, I'm a Christian too. Maybe they say it this way, you don't think I'm a Christian, do you? What do you say in that moment that's got to be one of the most awkward moments for a Christian when they are dialoguing with somebody who is a member of like the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, not so much Scientology, Christian Science, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, all the groups that we talk about in my book, Sharing Jesus with the Cults, available on Amazon or paperback. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. How do you respond to that moment. Here's the tactic number one in my book that I share with you. Tactic number one out of six that I present. All dealing with the most common conversations that you have as Christians with members of this group. So here's my tactic and how you would deal with that particular scenario. I take them at their word. Okay, so you say they're, you're a Christian so I'm assuming that you uh, follow the teachings of Jesus. Is that correct? Yeah, I follow the teachings of Jesus. Great. I would love to sit down and just talk about what Jesus taught with you. Would you be open to doing that? I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to know what you think about what Jesus taught. Because here's the thing. Most of the people in these groups, because Jesus is buried underneath all of their modern day prophets and apostles and leaders and scripture and everything, culture of the group, everything else. Jesus is buried underneath all the rubble of all that stuff. They think that they are following Jesus, but they don't actually know very much what Jesus actually taught. So this is a great opportunity just to expose them to some of the things that Jesus taught within the pages of the Bible. And I go into detail in my chapter, in the several chapters actually in the book, and it's in that just section under the tactic number one on going through systematically through the Gospels and verses that are related to the things that are taught and, and Jesus directly addressing things that are taught within these groups that are false beliefs and practices within the group. And so... Um, Here's how it goes, is you invite them into the conversation. If they agree, then you say, great. And my advice is to just pick one thing at a time, one topic, one verse. Just narrow it down as much as you possibly can on what you want to talk about. Because uh, it's very easy to just bounce around on all sorts of different rabbit trail conversations. And that typically doesn't go anywhere because nobody ends up understanding anything about what either party believes on any of those things and nothing's really resolved you don't get very deep into anything and so you might have to do some work and bring in the person you know hey back focus you know we were talking about this can we just finish our conversation about this and so that would be my first piece of advice the second piece of advice is this that when you ask them hey what do you think about this you know just read something that Jesus um, taught, and then just ask him, you know, what do you think that Jesus is saying there? What do you think he's teaching? Now be prepared because you're going to hear the most off-the-wall, out-of-context, scripture-twisting interpretations that you could possibly imagine and fathom. But to, to just brace yourself, it's going to happen. Here's what you do. Don't tell them they're wrong. Okay, it's very tempting and everything in your gut is going to be going, oh my gosh, you are just, where did you even get that from? 
they are trying to fit their worldview into what they are seeing in front of them, or they're just reciting something that they've heard, that they've read, uh, that um, maybe is in their scriptures, their other scripture passages. They're trying to reconcile. They're doing what anybody does that believes anything, honestly. And so it's not ill-willed, and, and so you got to help this person out. So a, a better way to handle that would be to say, would you mind if I share with you what I think it says? And, you know, just share with them, here, you know, here's what I think Jesus is saying. What do you think about that? And put it back into the course of dialogue rather than a monologue or you preaching at them. And then another way you can handle it is just say, okay, well, that's interesting. You know, that's different than what I, 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 I see in this text. Um, and ask them a follow-up question about something that they said. And, but ultimately, don't push too hard on any one single verse, topic, or anything. You want to keep the conversation going. You want to expose them to more and more and more of what Jesus taught. Because a lot of times, people in these groups, they're not thinking for themselves, and they also are taught to not show outwardly what is going on inwardly. So they might be battling and struggling and questioning and doubting inwardly, and really, you know, something you said might have shaken them to their core, but the outwardly, they are showing you a strong face, a poker face. And so you never know when that is happening on the inside. And so what you want to do, ultimately, what this tactic is, is instead of telling them that they're not Christian and getting them offended and they just walk out the door, you're showing them and letting them come to their own conclusions, showing them that Jesus taught things that are contrary, directly contradicting in some cases to things that are uh, taught in the, by their leaders, by their church, by their scriptures, etc. And so that puts them in that moment between, am I going to believe what Jesus taught or am I going to believe what my leaders or my scripture is teaching? And that's a very awkward place to be. If you say you're a follower of Christ, why wouldn't you believe what Jesus said as opposed to, say, you know, Joseph Smith or L. Ron Hubbard or whoever, you know? Um, so that's the tactic. I'm just going to give you some idea of things that are explored in this section. Um, we talk, Jesus addresses authority. He addresses the, the idea of by grace alone through faith alone. He addresses the afterlife. He addresses general miscellaneous issues, Christian science issues, Jehovah's Witnesses issues, LDS issues, 12 tribes issues. He addresses the Trinity as well. And so Jesus, in every single one of those categories, there's a litany of subcategories that I detail in the book and lots and lots of Bible verses all throughout the Gospels that you can take them to and dialogue with them. And so all of that's in my book. Again, that's on Amazon, Sharing Jesus with the Colts, available on paperback or Kindle. And so I want to know what you have to say. Is there something that you that I addressed that you, or I didn't address that you would like to share with the group? Um, are there questions that you have and go ahead and put those down in the comments down below. But I want to know what your tactics are. What do you do in handling this question? You know, this whole, I'm a Christian too. How, what is your approach to that? But also, what tactics do you have in sharing the gospel with people in cults, people caught in religion, people in general? I would love to hear that in dialogue with you. And maybe you're a member of one of the groups that I mentioned and you're watching this. And I would love to hear from you too. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And so, uh, until if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up on this video and share this video with others in your life who are trying to reach those caught in religion and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And until next time, may God's grace be with you.